So, hello, my name is Raido Boost, and in this video I will briefly show you some collaboration issues that may come up when you are building collaboration models. In this video I use Viasus VDC Explorer as a collaboration software package and as a case study I have a new road project that has several bridges, new bridges also included and different information or different models are coming from different sources mainly as IFC or land XML files. And with this bridge model, we talk about IFC model. If we take a closer look to this bridge, we can actually see that um, in this collaboration package, this bridge location has been fixed. What do I mean by that? For example, if I have a look to that link that uh, brings me this bridge into my model and do a right click and just uh, trying to see some default values, I can actually see that uh, this bridge has different coordinate values than in original file meaning that actually this bridge has been shifted into right place in this collaboration package. In that terms, of course, it is good if a collaboration package enables you to fix those coordinate issues or maybe even rotation or scale values. But quite often we would like to see those already in place, meaning that we don't have to fix those values in this package. So we assume that if somebody, our partner, is sending his her model, it goes straight into our collaboration model into right place. For example, if I zero out those values here and now click OK, I can see that my bridge has originally different coordinate values and it can be seen at wrong place. So instead starting fixing the model in this collaboration package, we can try to fix it or find out the solution why it comes to wrong place. So in that sense, of course, we need to have an access to original package. By original package, I mean software from where this bridge was exported into IFC. And in this case, we talk about Autodesk Revit. Before I'm going to Revit and starting to fix my my coordinates so that my bridge actually comes into right place straight away. I need to have some base point or side point that converge with my model. Quite often we talk about different software packages so that um, we have one fixed location to where we start to tie up our models. So what I'm doing right now I will just um, shift my bridge model back to that original place and in this example it's much easier to use as previously relocated bridge as a reference. Of course this point can be anything that you want to or that you discuss with other partners. So I will copy my old value in here and back to my bridge model and back to my original coordinates or actually coordinates or shifted values. Okay so I will zoom up a little bit so that I can see my bridge more precisely and for example let's pick some point from my bridge itself. Of course we may not have that possibility that we take that point directly from a bridge because we, we, we don't have it yet. But uh, in this example it just makes sense to, to show you quickly how you can realign or fix your coordinate issues based on some, some value. For example I will pick uh, this corner point from my bridge and uh, in ESOS VDC Explorer I have a possibility to see my coordinate values whatever my viewpoint is. I just need to go to analyze, use my lengths tool using snapping and then I just snap to this corner point clicking on that. Then I can see my coordinate. I will just copy those values again to my notepad. Okay, escape from my measurement tool. I just uh, zoom out a little bit and uh, going back to my explorer and once again I use my IFC model. I edit it and just again zero out all those those values here. Okay, so my bridge is shifted again and uh, I have also correct coordinate values that I want to use at my original model. And as I said before, my original model is built in Autodesk Revit and from here it is exported 
into IFC. And what I would like to do in Revit, I would like to re-coordinate my breach in here so that uh, I don't have to do it in my collaboration model anymore. So that is why I have fixed some specific coordinate value and I want to align my model based on that value. In Revit, if I don't want to ruin my original value, I can use Manage then use location, going to tab site, and I just create another one, duplicate. It may be with a default name, new site, OK, and I just make it current and OK. The next big thing is that um, I just uh, zoom a little bit so that I can see my model part from where I actually have a coordinate value fixed. I'm talking about this part. So it's easier for me if I isolate using small icons down below, temporary hide isolate and just isolate element. OK, I can now use a tool from coordinates list and it's called specify coordinates at point. Click on that and I should also see some small indications that I can snap to that right corner. I then left click and I can input my correct coordinate values. So I come back to my notepad and then I just copy those values. Of course, I need to ensure that I copy those into the right place. So the first one is east-west, second one is north-south, and then my elevation value also, or Z value, and control V as paste. Okay, so that is it. I just OK. My coordinate values has been changed. And of course, when I now remove my isolation, I just click this temporary hide isolate again and reset. My model has been re-coordinated. I have created a new location so that if I want to go back, I can easily do that. And one more thing, for example, if I use VG keys to open up visibility graphic overrides and I can open up my site point icons, survey point and project base point. Okay, those values has been also now renewed. Those small icons we use typically to align our models. For example, when we work in Revit and different parties are creating say models in Revit. But in this example, it was much easier to use just relocation using specify coordinates at point. One more step in Revit, I go to my application icon, then using export and IFC. IFC export dialog opens. I can use, for example, some ready-made setup, example, IFC 2.3 coordination view. I can quickly check my setup, modify setup, and just to point out that I have also included here export Revit property sets and export IFC common property sets. In that that way I can see in my collaboration model also information about my model components. Okay, so I use coordination view and export. Perhaps it's easier to, to save it to my desktop and I also give a new name, for example, corrected breach location and then save it. Once the export is finished, I can minimize my Revit and come back to my collaboration software, VDC Explorer, and I just zoom a little bit to my proposed breach location and now use import tool to bring in my new IFC. Just selecting it and open. I can then see again familiar dialog. I can change my materials but just in this example I leave as default ones. And when we look down below we don't have to use no shifting values because in my Revit model coordinates has been fixed correctly already. I just hit OK and I should see that my bridge is now in correct location. So I don't have to use any pre-location tool and it's for me to create those collaboration models it is much easier if everything is correctly placed already in original software packages. But of course we can do that so if we talk about collaboration software packages there is always a possibility to fix those manually but it's probably taking some time so it's always it's easier to find that time and to communicate with project partners that you have right coordinates already at the first export.
And because I also exported into IFC Revit parameters, I can have a closer look and use some object information tools to select some component and have data rich information also in my collaboration model. Picking any model component, I can see additional information about those components. Okay, that was it in this time and see you in my next video.